Hi there. My name is Mr. Jones. Nice to meet you. Please come on in. Make yourself nice and comfortable. Uh, today we are going to be doing something quite special indeed. We're going to be analyzing your political views and we're going to give you a category based on your political views uh, where you fit in on the political compass, so to speak. And we'll analyze uh, your results and go into greater depth once we've obtained them. But today's session, basically, I'm just going to be asking you a large number of questions, or I believe actually statements, and I will be asking for your opinions on all the statements. Okay, so what we're actually doing today is called uh, a Sapley test, or rather this is a variation of the Sapley test, uh, a political compass test. You will be presented with a statement and then you will answer with either strongly agree, strongly disagree, or neutral. It will be better if you give strongly agree and strongly disagree answers for the majority though. It will make the results a lot clearer. So please just go with your gut instinct realistically. Uh, all right, let's see. At the end of the quiz today, uh, your answers will be analyzed and I'll uh, give you a result on a political compass. There are going to be 46 statements in today's session and the political compass that I keep mentioning, uh, think of it as having four quadrants and authority at the top, liberty on the bottom, and then of course left and right as you would imagine. And I'm also going to be determining a score for you to indicate whether you are more progressive or more conservative in nature. Okay, but uh, I'll go through the results with you at the end. That's just a very brief explanation. I think for now it's best if we just jump right in to the questions and I'm going to be recording your answers as you give them to me. Okay, um, if you do want to expand on your answers, talk a little bit about the statement, that's absolutely fine. But for the most part, I am just looking for strongly agree or strongly disagree. Okay, let's jump right into it. So, my first statement for you. Banks shouldn't be private. They should be state, publicly owned, or they should be replaced by credit unions. Okay, my next statement for you. In times of crisis, safety becomes more important than civil liberties. Generally preferable to an authoritarian 
a social construct, not a natural state of affairs. Laws based on cultural values rather than ethical values aren't justice.
is a major societal problem.